Hello my dear children how are all of you I sincerely hope that all of you are doing fit and fine at your home My name is Shivanjali and welcome to your Saturday story session Today's story is the three promises it is a panchtantra story okay so let's start Once upon a time there was a man called Aditya He was in the forest looking for wood. While he was looking for wood, he stumbled upon a well and inside the well the scene looked something like this. Oh, what did it look like? Well, see how shocked Aditya he is himself. He saw a man, a snake and a tiger stuck inside the well. and they all their expressions were all washed out it's like they were waiting for someone to come and help them you know so aditya was very confused first of all how did the three of them land up together in the well so aditya said what's happening that's so funny it's so weird so before he could think about anything else they all said can you please help us the tiger said can you please help me the snake said can you please help me and that man he also said can you please help me so aditya said of course i can help you there is no harm in helping anyone but i need to be very careful about my life also there's a tiger he can eat me there's a snake in that water he can bite me oh my god what am i going to do so aditya thought He said, "I'm in such a soup. What am I going to do?" So he thought that he will address this issue with them. So he told them, "He said, but if I help you, and if you, the tiger, he, you will eat me, and snake, you can bite me." He said, "But what am I going to do? If I should be saving anyone, it should be the man." He said, "No, we promise you, we are not going to hurt you." So Aditya said, "Well." they are saying that they are promising me so i will help them because they really need my help so aditya first took out the tiger from the well and when the tiger came out he said thank you very much i really appreciate it so as my payback to you whenever you are in the forest do come visit me in my den so aditya was very happy he said all right thank you and the tiger left then aditya thought now i'll take the snake out so the snake also came out of the well aditya helped him then the snake thanked aditya he said thank you so much you saved my life so aditya said no problem then the snake said He said, "As a payback, you can call me whenever you need me. Whenever you are in trouble, call me, and I will come and help you." So Aditya said, "That's very sweet. Thank you." And the snake left. Then he helped the man come out of the well. Then the man came out, and he said, "Thank you very much." I am a goldsmith and I have a shop in the city whenever you have time do come and visit me and he left Aditya thought that's so nice I need three new friends and all of them have promised me to help me whenever I need them that is so sweet of all of them so Aditya also went back home he collected his wood and went back home that night aditya was thinking you know it was so sweet of all my three new friends to invite me to their shop or to their den and to promise to help me so let me do one thing tomorrow i have some work in the city so i'll go and meet the goldsmith so the tiger so the uh, so aditya said He said, "Oh well, if I am going to the city, let me first go meet the tiger. Actually, so Aditya said, 'Okay, first stop he'll make at the tiger's den.' 
So Aditya went into the forest. He met the tiger again, and he said, "Hello, I'm back." So the tiger was very happy to see him. He said, "You came." He said, "Well, you invited me, so I had to come and see you in your den." So the tiger gave him lots of food and took good care of him. When Aditya was leaving, the tiger said, "I have a gift for you." Aditya said, "But that's not necessary." The tiger said, "It is most necessary. You helped me when I needed you, so you helped save my life. I have to give you a gift." So the tiger gave him a bag full of ornaments. A bag full of ornaments. Aditya was very surprised. He said, "This is too much." Please I can't take this the tiger said no you must it is my gift to you don't deny my gift aditya said well thank you so much that is very kind of you and aditya left then aditya thought he said well after this i was as it is going to meet the goldsmith what a good day to go to the goldsmith's shop actually so aditya carried the bag of ornaments and he went to the gold, goldsmith's shop in the city He told the goldsmith. He said, "See, I've got a bag full of ornaments that the tiger gave me. So I was hoping if you could melt them and give me gold coins in return." So the goldsmith goldsmith said, "Yes, of course." So as the goldsmith opened the bag of ornaments, he was shocked. He said, "Oh my God!" But why was he shocked? He was shocked. to see those ornaments were the ornaments that the goldsmith had made it himself he made those ornaments he thought how did the ornaments reach him then he remembered oh the tiger gave him he said but what is happening then he said and these ornaments what is the what is the other part of the story the other part of the story was these ornaments belonged to the king's younger brother and the younger brother was missing for so many months so goldsmith was in utter shock he was in disbelief he didn't know what to do he said then he said wait the king also said he will reward anyone who gets any information on his missing younger brother so the goldsmith said you know he thought he said i have to be very smart about this you know he said i can get rich also since there is a reward the king is willing to give i can become rich so he said let me falsely you know give information about them let me falsely frame him let me frame aditya for it or oh, it's not true it's false but at least i'll get the reward So the goldsmith said yes. So you know, goldsmith, gold, goldsmith became very selfish. He was he became very cunning at that moment. He said it's okay. At least I'll get the reward. Okay, let me put him into trouble. So he said, so Aditya, can you just wait? I'm taking your jewelry to the near, nearby store to find out some information about it. I'll just be back and then I'll do your work. Aditya was a kind man. He said, all right. So I'll wait for you over here. Aditya kept waiting, and in the meantime, in the meantime, the goldsmith took the bag of ornaments and he went to the king. He said, "Your Majesty, Your Majesty." He, the king said, "Yes." He said, "I've got some information on your missing brother." So the king, he was shocked. He said, "What? From where?" He said, "Where? Well, I found his ornaments." Remember the ornaments that I made for him? He said, "Yes, I do." He said, "I found your, I found the ornaments that belong to your brother." So the king said, "Very well, show them to me." And the goldsmith opened the bag. The king was very shocked. He said, "Well, where did you find these?" He said, "There's a man from the village. His name is Aditya. He had them." He said, "Oh no, he's in so much trouble." and the king without listening to anything he sent his soldiers and he said go and catch that man and put him behind the bars put him in jail so when aditya was waiting at the goldsmith shop he was waiting for him to come back he saw the soldiers come and the soldiers picked him up they grabbed aditya and they put him inside the jail they put him behind bars 
Dad was very shocked. He didn't know what has happened. So the king said, because obviously the king was so angry with him. He said, you stole my brother's jewelry? And Aditya wanted to explain. He said, no, I have not done anything of this sort. He said, yes, you stole those ornaments. Though they belong to my brother. And my brother has been missing. Tell me what else you know. No. He said, I don't know anything. He said, of course you do. He said, no, you're not even ready to listen to me, your majesty. He said, I don't want to listen to anything. You're a thief. And now you're going to stay here forever. And then the king left. Aditya, who was innocent, he didn't know what to do. Nobody was, was ready to hear his truth. Nobody was ready to hear his side of the story. So then Aditya said, you know, that day at the well, he thought, I made three friends. And the snake had promised me that he will help me whenever I need help, whenever I call him out. So he said, well, let me do just that. So he called for the snake. The snake came inside the jail. He said, yes, Aditya, you called me for help. So he said, yes, I need you the most right now. I haven't, and you know, Aditya told him everything. He said, I haven't done anything wrong. And I've been locked inside this jail. And, and this is all false. This is not true. I'm not the culprit. So Snake said, yes, well, I have a plan. And he whispered a plan in his ear. He said, okay, I will do just, just as you're telling me. So the snake left. Aditya also, it was night. So Aditya said, okay, I'll see in the morning what's going to happen. That night, the queen was in her room. She said, okay, now I shall get ready and I shall go to sleep. It's night. But what happened? Suddenly, the snake entered her room. And he bit her. <gasps> ah! She cried and she lay unconscious on her bed. And the snake also left. The king he came in. He said, ah, my queen, what happened to my queen? Why is she unconscious? And he started crying. Then Aditya told one of the, one of the guards at the jail. He said, can you go call the king? I must speak to him. I know I can help the queen. So they went and called for the, uh, they went and called for the king. King came, he said, how can you help me? You're a thief yourself. He said, well, I'll first go see her myself what has happened, okay? And then I'll tell you. But I have one condition. He said, what? He said, when I'm treating her, I want to be alone in the room. I don't want anybody to be there. He said, okay, all right. You do as you want, but please, please cure my queen. I love her too much. So he said, okay. Aditya entered the queen's room and he quietly called out for the snake. He said, snake, where are you? And then the snake came. Then Aditya said, well, now as per our plan, will you be able to suck out the, the poison out of her body? He said, yes. And he sucked out all the poison from the queen's body and the queen was up and about and bright again. Aditya was very happy. He said, wait, let me go call the king. Then Aditya went and called the king. King was so happy to see his queen. He said, yeah, you cured her. I said, yes. Then the king told Aditya, you know, I will do anything that you want. Ask me for anything as a payback. Aditya said, I don't want anything. I just want you to hear my side of the story. I want you to know the truth. The king said, well, go on, tell me what the truth is. Then Aditya told him what the story was. And the king was shocked to hear that the goldsmith was actually lying. Okay, he was cunning. So he said, okay, you have told the truth. First, your reward for curing my queen and for telling the truth and for not stealing my brother's ornaments, here's a reward. And he gave him a bag full of gold coins. Aditya was very happy and he left. 
Then the king called for the goldsmith. He said, "Hail the goldsmith to my kingdom." The goldsmith came. The king said, "I know you have lied. You made a very nasty and a very devious plan to frame, falsely accuse uh, Aditya. Okay, that was not a very nice thing you did. That was a very cunning thing on your part. And I know you have lied. So now I am going to punish you for your lies. I am going to lock you in the jail instead." And he threw the goldsmith in the jail. and everything was well again everybody got their dues so my dear children this is the end of the story what did we learn from this story when well, we learned that when someone does a good deed for you make sure you pay them back the same way make sure you do a good deed for them okay friends always do good deeds for us they always do good deeds for us make sure you pay them back be a good friend never hurt anyone most importantly be a good human being okay don't be like the goldsmith be like the tiger and be like the snake who actually lived up to their promise they repaid the good deed that the that aditya did for them by saving their life okay they also helped him and saved his life they were always there for him be like them okay be good i am going to see you next week with another fun story take care of yourself and bye